Hey, staging boss babes, it's me, Lori Dree. Lori Dree? Gee, it's Friday, guys. And I have had a very, very productive week. But I wanted to come on today, Freedom Friday. It's the end of the week. It has been a fantastic week for me. And I wanted to share with you all, all my staging boss babes out there, how to unlock a realtor's mindset when it comes to home staging. And I wanted to share, I've been uh, promising you guys that I would share the exact script I used when I sold staging services. And so I'm not going to gate gatekeep you guys. No way. So we're going to get started today. This is my first time going live um, and so hopefully this works out. If not, I'm recording it. So no big deal. So unlock the secrets to selling staging to realtors. Now, in order for me to share with you my exact scriptola, let's take it back a little bit. So before I even got into the staging industry, I was in real estate for 10 years. My first job in real estate was at Cloud Chaser Real Estate slash Dream Chaser Travel. So your girl did real estate, property management, booked travel, <laughs> and was like the office executive. So I learned so much in that job and little old Roseman, California. So I learned about property management and we sold land and we sold obviously residential houses and a little bit of commercial got in there a little bit. My next job was at Deal Beck Realtors in La Cañada, California, and that is multi-million dollar houses. Okay, people. And, um, it, beautiful stars live a lot of stars live in that area a lot of celebrities yada 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 then i worked for prudential california south pasadena which is now i believe berkshire hathaway maybe um however i worked there probably the longest and i learned so much the broker there matthew bryant is not only the broker but he was also a real estate attorney and he taught me two things when i worked there and I will remember them forever. Number one, the devil is in the details. And you better bet, you bet your bottom dollar, I knew my sales contract inside and out. Okay? Number two, um, the fortune is in the follow-up. You better follow up with every single lead, every list at every listing agree, uh, listing presentation, listing whatever. So I learned so much. And back then I worked for them back in 20, 2008, I think it was when the market crashed. Now, to be fair, in that niche of the real estate industry in the multi-million dollar houses, I would say that it wasn't such a shock and they didn't, houses weren't like declining as much as maybe starter homes just because people were moving money around like 1031 exchanges and doing stuff like that. But here is something I learned from 10 years in the real estate industry. There is nothing worse than walking into a house with your buyers who you're hoping will buy the house to a house that is smelly, like pet or urine or uncleanliness or even too much cleaning products or a candle. There's nothing worse than showing a client a house full of tchotchkes and clutter and dirtiness. There's nothing worse, my friends, than showing an empty, cold, lonely house. So with that, I want to share with you today how 
spending those 10 years in the real estate industry taught me how to build rapport and relationships with realtors. Why? Because I know their struggle. I know their struggle is real. I know that those realtors spend all this time, gas, money, building relationship with buyers and sellers, but guess what? They don't get paid until that house closes. So when I started working in the staging industry, I realized what a perfect marriage, what a perfect partnership for real estate agents and home stagers. And that is why I'm so passionate today about helping boss babes build the businesses they love because I know the value of home staging. So let's get into it. So having that experience for so many years, showing all types of properties, all kinds of decorated and not decorated and vacant and hot and cold and just all of the things, all of the travesty that realtors go through. Okay. Shout out to my realtors. I learned a few things. And so I learned that when I would open up a property and we would get inside and it would be an open layout. My buyers would be standing there thinking to themselves, I don't even know how to, how would I live in this house? Where would my furniture go? Ooh, this, this looks kind of small. I don't know if, if, if this would be big enough. Oh, this is a funky layout. Like why is the dining room over there? And then, oh, it's just, I don't know. Right. They stand there and they walk around and they're kind of lost and they kind of like their eyes are just like glazed over like, oh, and then you as the realtor are like, oh crap, you know, and you have to start using your imagination, right? Like, oh, this would be a really great place for this and you could do this and it'd be really great. But why would any realtor in their right mind in this day and age want to have to have that added layer of creativity to showing properties? No just get you a home stager because when that buyer walks in, they're not thinking about where to put the furniture because guess what, boo boo, the furniture's already put in there for them. It makes sense in their brain. So once I realized that, and once I fully understood what staging was, because a lot of my agents did not use home staging or in the multi-million dollar range, they usually contracted with an interior designer or quite frankly, they just took all of their personal stuff out and then left everything else. So let's, let's get into when I got the opportunity to sell staging. Number one, the first thing I'm doing ring, ring on the phone, a realtor is calling me. I'm looking that property up because I, as the person selling home staging, want to know what kind of property are we dealing with? And it might not be the current listing, but I can see the floor plan. So we're going to look and see what's this property look like. Number two, I'm going to ask them, have you already spoken with the sellers? Are they interested in home staging? And they're going to say yes or no. A lot of times you get, they don't think it's necessary. They already have furniture in there or they're living in the property or whatever that looks like. But when it gets to the part where you need to sell the agent on home staging, and this isn't to try to talk them. This is facts. Like this is just 100% real. If the average pay attention If you have staff who are, who's answering the phones at your staging company, let them listen to this. If you have a buyer who comes into a house and the average time it takes a potential buyer to decide whether or not they want that home is six minutes and they spend three minutes standing in an empty, cold, dingy, dark, no light, no fluff, no nothing room, trying to figure out, is this going to work for them? You just lost 50% of that sale. There's a 50% chance they're going to turn their little heinies around and walk right back out. So that is where your 
home stager comes into play before the pictures are taken, before realtors even go to the listing. You want to make sure you partner with a reputable home staging company. They will provide you anything you need to sell that seller on the investment of home staging. Now, most realtors know that staging costs less than a price improvement. Most stagers believe that a very beautifully staged home sells quickly and for more money. However, a lot of times it's educating the seller as well as the realtor. And that is my exact script. I would tell Mr. or Mrs. Realtor, hey, boo. Of course I didn't say, hey, boo. Hey, I know that you do not get paid until this house gets sold. Let's work together to get this house sold. Whether you're just doing a consultation, a walk and talk, whether you're doing a full stage, whatever you call what you do, you need to partner first. Stagers, I would highly recommend creating some type of graphic flyer something to hand to your local realtors that educate them and that they could pr uh, present at their listing presentation. Secondly, you need to articulate to the realtor, hey, friend, this is part of your real estate marketing. You need to budget this into your marketing budget. Staging is essential. It's, it works for the brain. It makes sense for people who walk into a property and see the beautifully staged home. Also, let's not forget that most people who are buying are looking for an upgrade in their life. Unless they're downgrading to, you know, like empty nesters, right? But when people walk into a house, they want to see and envision themselves living in that house. They don't want to envision a cold, lonely, dark place that they have no idea how they're going to style or how their family is going to live in it. My bestie, Paige, 29 Designs, she says it best. Stagers show buyers how to live in your listing, in the realtor's listing. And so the next time you have somebody wavering on whether or not staging is going to work for them, I want to encourage you to use my script that I used to use all the time. Listen, realtor, I know you don't get paid until this closes. I want to help you close this property. I would love the opportunity to come in and do a consultation with your sellers. I would love to give you this information, this flyer to present at your listing presentation so that your sellers can know the sooner we get this house sold, the sooner they can move on to the next stage of their life. And lastly, if they're still not getting it, use the six minute rule. Realtor, you put this listing on, you put your blood, sweat, and tears onto the, onto this property, working with the sellers, getting it, you know, up, maybe painted, cleaned out, whatever. You've done all this work up front. Why would you want someone to not want the property simply because they can't envision what their furniture looks like in it? Because they're just standing there thinking, huh? And then you take them, maybe you're the buyer's agent, and you take them to another listing that stage, and they're like, oh my gosh, I love this. It's so great. Don't skip on staging. And so that's how we're going to articulate to our realtor besties out there that it is imperative that we stage properties. If a buyer spends six minutes, if it takes six minutes, minute for a buyer to decide whether or not they're going to stage a property and they stand in an empty, cold, dingy, dark living room for three minutes, 50% chance they're going to turn their little heinies around and they're going to walk right out that door and go buy a house that's perfectly staged. So I hope that's been helpful for you today. If you guys loved it, let me know. If you have other topics you want me to talk on, let me know. But I am truly here for the staging and real estate industry to help you build the business that you love through social media, marketing, branding. I got you, boo. You can do this. We'll do it together. Have a great day.